Hi, my name is Bridget Bond. I am a Oak Grove High School graduate of 1991. Um, I lived directly across the street from the high school uh, on April 8th uh, when the tornado hit. Okay, so it was April 8th, 1998. I was on my way home from work. Noticed that the sky was a funny shade of green. Thought it was just really pretty. Got home, started cooking supper. My mom called a couple of times. Um, was trying to have a conversation with her. The sirens kept going off. My mother-in-law kept calling to tell me to watch the news. I did have James Spann on. Um, he was talking about our area, but I was you know, busy cooking supper. Um, my husband was not at home when I was on the phone with my mother, so um, everybody assumed I was still at home by myself. Uh, shortly after my husband got home, um, the tornado was actually on its way, so he turned on the news, um, decided we better go outside, so we went outside into an exterior building. It's an old pump house. We lived in an older home directly across the street from the old high school. Um, shortly after we got into the pump house, the tornado hit. Um, I wear contacts, so therefore I did not see a whole lot, which thankfully I did not. Um, I had my eyes closed pretty much the entire time. The only thing that I distinctively remember during that time period is at one point in time, my husband started praying out loud, and it was at that moment that the roof to the building that we were in had been ripped off, and he actually saw the tornado passing over us. Um, it was over in just a few short minutes. Um, it sounds just like everybody says it does, just a freight train. Or as I like to say, the only thing I remember hearing was me screaming, please God, don't let us die, um, over and over again. When we came out, um, we heard teenagers screaming across the street because there was cheerleaders uh, in the high school that were practicing that day. Um, the smell of natural gas and then my brother-in-law screaming my name because he thought I was still at home by myself. So once we kind of met up with him, we proceeded to go around the neighborhood and check for others, make sure anybody didn't need help, and our next door neighbors did um, have some su substantial injuries, so we had to help transport one of our neighbors who her fireplace had fallen on top of her, um, so she had a broke leg, numerous other broken bones, so we, um, my husband and I helped the fireman move her, uh, and get her into a safe place. Um, once it was over with, we just all kind of tried to get to a safe area, get to phones so that we could call our family members and let them know that we were all okay. Spent several weeks cleaning up and actually rebuilt the house directly across the street from the high school um, after the fact. 